Okay, so this is the Trezor Safe 3. At first glance, it doesn't appear to be a particularly special crypto wallet. Like this is a $79 entry-level cold wallet. It has a smaller screen and just two buttons for navigating the entire device. And inside it has all these standard security features, or at least what I consider standard, a secure element chip, open source firmware. It doesn't have a battery. And then it does have this USB-C port so that you can connect it to the crypto management software, which is Trezor Suite and use that to manage all of your crypto. But it has exactly one really unique feature that not all crypto wallets have, and that is a passphrase. But this isn't just like any normal passphrase, like the one you use to access an account online or your phone. This is actually a feature that allows you to add an extra word or phrase to your 12 or 24 word seed phrase to increase its security. The best part about a passphrase is that you can use a variety of numbers, letters, upper and lower case, and symbols. So unlike your standard 12 word or 24 word seed phrase, that is from a set list of words, you can create a completely unique passphrase that you add to your traditional seed phrase. In general, a passphrase works the same on any wallet that offers this feature, but before you can set up your passphrase, first you have to set up your wallet just as you would normally. So you create your 12 word seed phrase, you write it down, and then your wallet is activated. So when you generate a seed phrase initially, it's actually linked to your wallet's private key, which is like the overall master key for your wallet. And this private key actually has its own set of public address pairings, also known as your receiving crypto addresses or your public address. However, this is where things get interesting. When you set up a passphrase, you can choose to create just a word or a sentence or multiple words, whatever you want it to be, it's up to you. So that means when you create a passphrase it's completely separate from your standard seed phrase. So even if someone were to find your seed phrase, for example, they wouldn't be able to access your crypto because they would need your passphrase to access this specific private key. And they wouldn't even know it existed because it's a passphrase. And yes, if you create a hidden wallet, you can still access your standard seed phrase just by simply not entering the passphrase when you go to access your wallet. But why would you need a passphrase? Aren't seed phrases already secure enough? Well, sort of. To understand why a passphrase increases security of your crypto wallet, first we have to look at how most crypto wallets generate a seed phrase. Most seed phrases are generated from the BIP39 word list, which consists of 2,048 predefined words. While this doesn't seem like a lot of words, it's the number of possible combinations of seed phrases that you can generate from this list that makes it so secure. For example, the number of possible combinations for a 12 word seed phrase, if you were to create it from the BIP39 word list, is over five duo decillion, which is five with over 39 digits after it, so it's basically impossible to hack. So as you can probably guess, a 24 word seed phrase is technically twice as secure because it is twice as long with over a quin vegetalian possible seed phrase combinations, which is an 80 digit number. Regardless, both 12 and 24 word seed phrases are pretty much impossible to guess, at least today. One of the main concerns with a lot of paranoid crypto users such as myself is that in the future, a quantum computer, quantum computing will be able to solve these seed phrases because they are much more efficient and can solve mathematical equations much quicker. And although quantum computers are not readily available, especially to the public right now, who's to say that they won't be in the next five or maybe even 10 years? So there might be some solutions in the future to prevent quantum computers from guessing our seed phrases, but I don't know what those will be or if they will exist. But one possible solution I see right now is using a passphrase on your crypto wallet. Since passphrases are completely unique and not derived from a predetermined word list, quantum computers or a person for that matter would have a much harder time trying to guess it. And the possible number of combinations when you consider upper and lower case letters, numbers and symbols is pretty much infinite, making it nearly impossible to ever guess your passphrase, assuming you create a strong one. Obviously you don't want to use your dog's name or your mom's maiden name or your birthday. You want to create something completely unique so that it's super secure. The longer and more random your passphrase is, the more secure your seed phrase will be. All that said, you have to treat your passphrase with just as much care as your seed phrase. Cause after all, this is just a new addition to your seed phrase. And like your seed phrase, if you lose your passphrase, you will never be able to access that crypto wallet again. So you have to store this securely 
securely, just like you store your seed phrase securely. So how do you set up a passphrase? Well, it's actually really easy, assuming you're using a wallet that supports a passphrase. After setting up your wallet as normal, you will see an option to enable a passphrase, and generally you have to confirm this on your wallet as well. Now, when you create a passphrase, you will likely have two options to enter your passphrase. You can type it in on your computer or phone using the app associated with your specific wallet, or on the wallet itself. In my opinion, you should always type it in on the actual wallet. This way you're keeping it offline and that is the point of a cold wallet after all. The only issue with entering it on the device itself, such as the Trezor Safe 3, is that since it only has two buttons, assuming you create a long and robust passphrase, it's going to take well, a long time to enter your passphrase on your wallet, but believe me, the extra security is worth doing it on the device itself. Keep in mind when creating your passphrase, upper and lowercase letters matter, as do spaces. And the great thing about passphrases is that you can create as many as you want. There is no limit to how many passphrases you can generate for your seed phrase. All right, but how do you get your crypto from your traditional seed phrase into your passphrase seed phrase? Or we'll just call it the hidden wallet. Well, to do this, you have to actually transfer your tokens just like you would if you got a new wallet. So you're going to sign into your traditional seed phrase, your 12 word seed phrase wallet. And with your public address from your hidden wallet, you're going to paste that into the receiving address and then send your tokens to your hidden or passphrase wallet. Now, just to be clear, there are no wallet specific fees to do this, but anytime you make a transaction on the blockchain, you're going to have to pay the network fees. So keep that in mind when transferring your crypto. Something else I wanna point out is that if you create a hidden wallet, you can only import and use this wallet on a cold wallet that supports hidden wallets. So keep that in mind. It would suck to create a hidden wallet and then buy a new cold wallet and not be able to access your hidden wallet on your new cold wallet because your cold wallet doesn't support hidden wallets. So which crypto wallet supports creating and using a passphrase? Well, there are actually several wallets on the market that support this passphrase feature. And I'll show you those in just a second. But my favorite one is the one that I've been using throughout this video, and that is the Trezor Safe 3. Now, the reason the Trezor Safe 3 is one of my favorite wallets is because it's super user friendly, especially if you're coming from something like Ledger, the Safe 3 or any Trezor wallets are really going to be a great alternative for uh, Ledger wallets because it is so easy to use. It's pretty similar to use, but it offers more security features. It's 100% open source. You can use a passphrase on it and it has a secure element chip in it too. Plus Trezor has been in business for over 10 years now making cold wallets and they have maintained a solid reputation over the years. Because it's considered an entry level wallet, it's only $79 and it's even more affordable if you use my discount code CYBERSKRILLA, all caps, which will get you, I think, 8% off your entire order. But like I said, there are other wallets that offer the passphrase feature, including all Trezor wallets. So not just the Safe 3, but also the Model T and the Model 1, all one key wallets, the Keystone 3 Pro, all SafePal wallets, Bitbox, and probably a couple other wallet brands that I forgot to mention. If you wanna learn more about the Trezor Safe 3, definitely check out my full review right here. And if you wanna learn more about any of the other wallets I mentioned, make sure to check out the hardware wallet review playlist right here. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you next time. Stay safe out there.